You know, I love playing Minecraft, but honestly the survival mode is just too short for me. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, once you've done it once, it takes like 20 minutes to get pretty close to maxed out. And once you get to that point, everything is like really easy to kill, and honestly the game is kind of boring. Anyway, long story short, the new snapshot for 1.17 adds some incredible looking caves. I mean, just look at this lake. And it also increases the height limit, or rather like the depth limit. So it seems to me like the perfect opportunity for some new materials, weapons, and tools. Now, maybe they're actually going to add that on their own, maybe they're not, but either way, I'm here to do it for them. So I'm here in spectator mode, and I'm kind of thinking I want to just break everything underground into two sections, probably split on the... Uh, whether it's a positive Y number or a negative Y number, which is right around here. And the upper half is just going to function exactly like the underground always has. I'm literally not going to touch that. But down here, I just want to make everything harder, but also more rewarding. So I want scarier monsters, I want things to be harder to mine, but I also want stronger materials. So I'm going to set up right here as my base of operations, because it's right near the divide, and let's get started. So in terms of making things harder to mine, probably the easiest thing to do, and what I'm going to do, is just give everybody miners fatigue. So let's just give that a go. Uh, here I am, up here above uh, y equals zero, and I do not have mining fatigue, and when I drop down, I get mining fatigue. And... Yeah, that's that's it. So if I'm not mistaken, mining fatigue makes everything take twice as long to break, so here with a diamond pickaxe, like, this is pretty slow. You know, the truth is, this might honestly be too fast for me already. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn up the mining fatigue even more. Let's see, this might be too much now. Um, so now, like, a, an unenchanted diamond pick takes a really long time to break. And an enchanted one is still pretty slow. You know, I think this is good. I want this to be like, if you're coming down here without an enchanted pick, you're gonna have a bad time. And the other thing you should keep in mind is that as we do this, I'm going to be like giving people pickaxes that make them mine faster, and that will make all of this much more reasonable. So that was pretty good, and I think now all we have to do is do the same kind of thing for some mobs. Just make the mobs down here stronger. So once again, I think we can just sort of modify the attributes of all the everything down here to make them scarier. So I think for zombies, I'm just gonna do the obvious and give them more health and damage. Skeletons, probably the same thing, to be perfectly honest. And creepers, I'm going to make their explosion bigger, because why not? Okay, um, hopefully I have that set up. It seems like it should be all pretty self-explanatory, but I'm basically just once again sorting by like their Y value to see where they are, and you can just sort of modify the various attributes of them to fix it. So once again, let's go ahead and give this a complete test. As you can see, I have a diamond sword and I'm in diamond armor. So the zombie, let's see if it hits me. Uh, you can see it's fast and also it is, it is definitely doing more damage than zombies normally do to people in diamond armor, I will say that. Skeleton, got power on its bow, similarly annoying, um, and the creeper, um, I'm not sure that that explosion was actually bigger. Fun fact, I, uh, I had the, the command chain for the creepers off, so that's why their explosion radius still wasn't that big. If we go back into survival now, oh, well, um, yeah, I guess that'll do it. Okay, and with that, I would say, um, it all seems to be working. And now we need to move on to the materials. So, there are sort of a few ways that I'm thinking this could go. So the thing is, in short, making a system to generate completely new ore would be really complicated. So, in short, everything we want is gonna have to drop from ores that already exist. And the obvious choice for that is diamond ore, but at the same time it would be kind of dumb if like, you get down here, you search for diamond ore, you mine that diamond ore, and that's it, like all the iron and everything you just don't care about. So okay, here I've thought about it some, and here's my solution. You can use the lowest tier material, coal, to craft one set of armor, which will probably be like, I don't know, slightly worse than 
normal diamond armor. Then you'll be able to upgrade that using iron and upgrade it one more time using diamonds. So going off of that, the first thing we're gonna have to do is make it so that these three ores drop different things than they normally do. And so we're of course going to do that by modifying the items that they drop, because making them drop entirely different items would be difficult. Okay, not gonna lie, that took a few more tries than I expected, but here we go. If we place, say, a block of coal down in survival mode, ideally, so we can actually mine it, mine that coal, we get raw something. Okay, I was I was gonna name it like raw something cool and then I couldn't think of anything cool so I gave up and it's just something. Uh, iron, when you mine it, you get... it's broken apparently. This should be an iron ingot um, so it auto smelts or whatever. I'll fix that in a second. And then for the diamond you get a pure diamond. So all three of these you're going to be able to combine in some way, I suppose. So before we actually get into crafting these custom items, I'm going to actually start by just designing those items. So starting off with the swords, the swords are a little bit problematic when they really shouldn't have to be. So in short, look at this standard diamond sword, right? It's nice and clean, it's got the green text, which just tells you how much damage and the attack speed. Yeah, well, for some reason, we can't do that. There's no way to make an attribute modifier for an item which just sets the value of that attribute. It has to modify it from its base value. So my base attack speed is 4, and my base attack damage is 1. So I wanted this to have 2 attack speed and 9 attack damage, but I can't just do that. I have to say minus 2 and plus 8, and it's like that for all of these. So it's kind of ugly. Next up, let's take a look at the pickaxes. We have once again the raw stone pickaxe. And the way we improve the speed of these ones is when you hold them, you get haste. If we try just having efficiency 5 on all of these down here, they start to become pretty reasonable mining speeds. Um, I'm guessing especially the pure diamond, like this is, you know, this is reasonable. This is like, wow, I'm mining. And our pure diamond up above the scary zone can even mine obsidian, like, pretty quickly, and it can, of course, insta-mine stone. So, yeah, I would say that is all working for our pickaxes. Last up, of course, is specialized armor. Now, the thing about armor, which makes it a bit trickier, is that the full 10 armor points that you get from diamond armor, that's it. That's the most armor you can have. And the way that netherite armor gets around that is by giving you more armor toughness, which is sort of a separate statistic which also contributes to damage reduction, but in a slightly different way. And that works great for netherite armor, but the issue is, I think there start to be some like serious diminishing returns on armor toughness, so I just don't want to throw more and more armor toughness onto it. Instead, what I thought I would do is this. Uh, these higher armors will actually contribute to other stats. So I thought here, okay, the raw coal, whatever, it makes raw stone armor. And when this is all on, I should probably go into survival, but when this is all on, you can see you have nine armor points, which is more than iron and less than diamond. And then what I figured is you can then either craft this raw stone armor into refined steel armor or pure diamond armor. So one or the other, not both. And so refined steel actually ups your attack damage, as you can see. So if I put all this on and try and find some kind of random monster to kill, okay, or if I just summon a zombie and punch that, um, hopefully this thing will die in five hits, which is dramatically faster than it would die without this armor on. And last up, of course, is the pure diamond armor, which also uh, gives you the full 10 points, and this one ups your movement speed. So as you can see, I am walking along substantially faster than I do without armor on. Now, yeah, I'll admit that it doesn't really make sense that the pure diamond armor is increasing your speed, but, you know, too bad. So I think that just means we now have to set up some kind of crafting. And when I say crafting, I mean throwing the things on the floor together and somehow they magically merge. So I feel like a lot of this is going to be self-explanatory, especially with the upgrades, right? Like when you throw down a raw stone, say, pickaxe, 
and then throw down a few refined steel with it, it just makes a refined steel pickaxe. But it gets a little bit tricky when you're crafting something in the first place, because obviously when you're crafting either a pickaxe or a sword, the way you differentiate between the two is by making a different configuration in the crafting table. But since uh, custom crafting recipes don't work for custom items, uh, that's not exactly an option. So the way that I'm going to get around that is I'm going to look at how many sticks are on the ground. All three separate crafting things should be working, so we can make ourselves a raw stone pickaxe, a raw stone sword, and if we just chuck these out, we get all the raw stone pieces, actually. And so with that, we just need to set up the upgrading process, which honestly should not be too difficult. I know I've made this joke like a million times, and it's probably not funny anymore, but I've spent so long trying to figure out why this wasn't working, and look at that, it was off. Wow, what a shock. Okay, well, like, a stupid amount of copying and pasting later, um, I think this might actually be working. So, uh, let's start out by making a pickaxe here, uh, with these materials I've already collected, and if I throw the two things down, we get a raw stone pickaxe, we've already seen that, but... If I then put together nine of the refined steel and throw the two of those together, we do in fact get a refined steel pickaxe. And hopefully, I believe it costs another nine to copy. I don't recall exactly what I did, but I'm pretty sure it was nine. It was nine, and there is our pure diamond pickaxe. So I'm a little bit curious about just how good all of this is. I'm not going to go through a full, like, mining session to get it, because that seems kind of stupid. But I am going to just enchant all of this stuff with some decent enchantments, and we'll see how it, how it does down in the depths. Mainly I'm curious about how the mining will go, right? Like, say I instead decided I wanted a set of refined steel armor, which honestly I think might be better than the diamond, but whatever. Like, how hard is that to get? Well, evidently it's very hard because I can't find any iron. Oh, here's some. How long... Okay, that actually, at this point, this mines at, like, a reasonable speed, which I think is perfect. And actually, wow, I said I wasn't going to spend time just mining, but that was actually fun enough that I apparently ended up with um, a full stack of refined steel. So I think we can actually make a couple of pieces of refined iron armor. And there's that, and there is that, and you know, you can mix and match, which looks kind of stupid, but it works. I mean, I think it took me two hits to kill something before, and it still does, so that contributed absolutely nothing. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this was honestly a blast to create. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. And if you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it, please, so I can, you know, not do that next time. And as always, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.